Morning, Miss Ellie. Jack? Sue Ellen. Good morning, Sue Ellen. You feeling better? Sam. Well, how about some breakfast? Uh, no. No, this uh, tomato juice is just fine, thank you. Oh. Morning, Ray. How you doing? Morning, buddy. Hi. Dan? Jock still having breakfast? Yeah, he, Mama, and Sue Ellen. Well, I won't bother them yet. Well, is there something I can help you with? Well, I was just going to talk to him about some cattle. I thought I might stock my section some. Well, Ray, that's great. Uh, when are we going to meet her? <laughs> well, like I say, I just met her myself. Come on. Well, Monday night, I'm going to see you over at Longhorn. Why don't you come on by around 9? Let they just elected me justice of the peace about a week before. And here they come, pulling digger barns and jock up in front of me. The scuff of the neck and hauled him out. <laughs> well, that didn't set too good for the boys he was buying the drinks for. So there ensued one of the finest brawls ever to take place west of the Mississippi. <laughs> Got that boy of his all over our back. Dropped out of school and went to work. Well, did you ever think about going back and finishing? Oh, I did, for a while. Then I dropped out again, uh, met Sam. I was wondering if you gave any thought to those conversations we had the other day at lunch. Now, J.R., we didn't invite Sam here to talk about business. Well, maybe you didn't, Ellie. But maybe it's as good a time now as ever to talk about it. You know, a while back, I'd have said yes or no right now. Mary and Donna here, getting what you might call a younger slant on things. I just don't jump right in like I used to. I found out she's got a better point of view than I have on what's going on nowadays. Well, I respect that, sir. I really do. Uh, as a matter of fact, I admire your ability to consider all points of view. It just occurred to me that she may not be as well versed as you are in the finer aspects of the independent oil business. Well, maybe not, but she does know ecology, resources. I've come to depend very heavily on her judgment. 